Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Great Night. <laughs> the best of the worst of the internet. We present our evening with our opening theme song. What? What? CB4 in the motherfucking house. What? Yeah, Gusto's in the motherfucking yeah. house with my man Dead Mike. We breaking motherfuckers off 24 What's 7. Happening? So check this shit out. Hey, yo, Gusto. What's up? Get that Straight shit. Straight out of low cash, a crazy motherfucker named Gusto. I fuck your wife, cause the bitch is a big hoe. I fuck your sister, I fuck your cat. I will fuck your mom, but the bitch is too fat. When I'm in your neighborhood, you better dig a moat, cause I'm coming to slick. Your motherfucking throat. I'm not slipping, bitches panties is what I'm ripping Rolling faster than a motherfucking dirt bike Never met a piece of pussy that I didn't like Like to eat it, like to suck it Take the shit in the bucket Straight out of low cab uh, Crazy motherfuckers <laughs> Hello and welcome to Great Night In which we discuss the great rap songs And parody hits from the early 90s I'm your host and this episode is sponsored by BetterHelp. Justin, <laughs> what do you remember of the first time that you encountered CB4? I remember CB4 <laughs> when I was but a boy. <laughs> For it was then that I knew that I was watching a movie. <laughs> A movie parodying real events, ones that were passionate with my family, my friends, and those that I would see on the television. I knew that CB4 was important because it was in a movie theater. <laughs> um, it's very powerful. We go now to CB Chong who's has this piece um <laughs> fuck you Justin um, <laughs> hold on what did we, you we, say CB Chong <laughs> was it supposed to be Cheech and Chong or was it supposed to be like an Asian thing it was supposed to be me, like, messing with you and setting you up with a very, very difficult prompt. But now you've refused the call to adventure. Oh, no, You're no, like, no. I can do it. No, okay, no, no, okay. no, 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 no. <clears throat> oh, it's me, C.B. Chong. <laughs> I'm sorry. We have technical difficulties. Do, 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 gong. C.B. Chong here. I'm a character that's been summoned similar to last week's character, but structurally and legally different. CB Chong, you've been on the air for seconds, and yet you've not been typing. Would you care to explain? No, I now have different technologies. Oh, like yes, in great country of China, we have different <laughs> technologies. I now do all of my typing with foot pedals, as if I was an accordion, not accordion, a, 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 what is church organ man? Yes, yes. I, 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 I do all my typing with feet now. I my toes have a, a excellent dexterity. I, I, I believe the church organ man is called the priest. Yes, exactly. Priest. That's me. C.B. Chong. <laughs> C. Certainly C. not uh, President G. <laughs> New favorite character on show. <laughs> Oh, delicate veil placed upon face makes all of the excitement. I'm CB Chong. Watch me dance. Hip swivel, butt wiggle, chest jiggle. Ah, CB Chong. Or is it G? Oh, no, CB Chong back. <laughs> We're speaking this evening with CB Chong. <laughs> 
<laughs> noted novelist, uh, New York Times bestseller for his book, My Father, right? I wrote all books. <laughs> uh, so yes, I wrote I wrote that book too. Great to join you. Uh, C.B. Chong. Yes, Diane. Have you been in the motherfucking house? Indeed. I remember when I first came to motherfucking house, I, I knew that the uh, earthy tones I smelt when walking indoor was the thing for which I would uh, remember forever. These are uh, uh, relatable memories. Nietzsche once spoke about a similar thing. Would you care to tap into that thread? Indeed. <laughs> Nietzsche said, hey, what's going on here? Why are you on my lawn? I pay a lot of money to have lawn, and yet you dis are disrespecting. And then a guy talking to Nietzsche says, I'm trying to sell lemonade. I am child. And Nietzsche said, I don't give... I don't give a... <laughs> I, we cannot say here on radio. Oh, no. This is national public radio. You're allowed to say anything. Fuck you. Except... Uh, I'm sorry. We're having technical difficulties. No, I'm sorry. The one phrase you're not allowed to say <laughs> is we're having technical difficulties. Makes sense. You yes. can say... Suck, suck it in fuck it. Put it in a bucket. Right. Take it to space, and then you chuck it. Right. When it's in space, it freezes over. And then you say, this is nowhere. I am in a wormhole now, heading to another planet. Wow. I am now on Martian surface, taking a hole and digging it on purpose. Stick my dick in the hole pump so fast that I jizz like a mole. Then I leave all my seed, go back to Earth. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Our purple matches question of the day <laughs> comes from Gertrude, and she <laughs> wants to know. Uh, we've heard of doggy style. We've heard of missionary style. In, yes. What styles have we not heard of? This is from Gertrude, our Purple Mattress sponsor of the day. The question of the day. Purple Mattress, of course, makes these questions. Ma many people have not heard of um, mosquito style. Now, that's interesting because... Because that is what uh, uh, I, uh, uh, C.B. Chong, <laughs> not G. <laughs> this is what I exclusively do. It is uh, only what I do. Mosquito style. Okay. Well, uh, <clears throat> the mos I will not be caught doing nothing but mosquito style. Mosquito style has historically been... Some might say problematic or mm, unusual. Not for me. It's been profitable. Very. Beneficial. For me, very good. Would, would you care to talk about the reduction in the population of mosquitoes writ large? Well, I mean, I, 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 I can explain mosquito style. Well... You know what? We're national public radio. So yes. I guess you can. Yes. Indeed. I hit and oh, then I'm uh, gone in 24 hours. <laughs> one moment. One moment. <clears throat> this moment of great night. <laughs> Can't sell the joke. Can Jesus I, Christ. Good can, joke. It's good joke <laughs> for other people. Hopefully enjoy. But no, no. <laughs> Service to bit. Go. This bit contains some coarse language. If you have young ones in the car, you may want to consider whether or not you want to keep listening. Did not. I'm sorry. Did not. Did not contain coarse. No. Clean joke. 
Oh no! It Clean was when joke. I was gonna say this joke fucking... could be made by Will Rogers. Will Rogers could make joke and then tell joke when he is uh, asking you for change at movies. Will Rogers. <laughs> Have you never seen Will Rogers? No, I have. Uh, He's always... asking you this simple joke, classic joke. Mosquitoes bite, die 24 hours. I say I hit and then I die 24 hours. Same thing. It is double entendre. CB. <laughs> <laughs> How do you respond when some of our listeners, and we're getting him on Twitter, hashtag join the conversation, seem to be upset that you are uh, not respecting Will Rogers' uh, efforts to re re reduce Lyme disease. I think Will Rogers is weak. <laughs> <laughs> he is weak. He is weak American. Fat, weak American. Uh, uh Okay. When I look at Will Rogers, I, I see nothing but lack of uh, 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 industrious effort, the kind that you see in my native China. Go on. Yes. <laughs> I am C.B. Chong. <laughs> I am not President Xi. We have not apparently now made a runner of this character. <laughs> I I have I have uh, uh, you cannot see me using my feet to type <laughs> to type because this is totally different character definitely a totally different character. different character super different character Will Rogers okay. fat asshole okay. he is a he is a terrible man yes we sh we, we we slander Will Rogers oh, in this okay. house we slander Will Rogers we say Will Rogers more like Swill Rogers. Right. Because it is gross. Okay. That Fucking gross. Uh. <laughs> that's, what, that's what happens when you drink swill in my native China. CB, um, you and I have been co-hosts on this show. Yes. <laughs> on NPR for a long time. Indeed. We, for 35 strong years. <laughs> With your patronage, dear listener, <laughs> dear listener, C.P. Chong and Brian, the number one show on uh, the, uh, on on W L L M Z, the the number one show for uh, public radio. If you want public radio, turn on your radio. It's fucking there, whether you like it or not. That's the best thing about it. It never goes away. You know, you know what? Well, like I'll... the sunset or herpes. It's just <laughs> fucking there. There's nothing you can do. We're speaking to <laughs> CB John. <laughs> and you on. do this for the last 35 years. We do this for 35 years together. Yes. Yes, we have. we have. 35 years ago, by the way, is when? 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 What year did we start broadcasting? Ah, uh, 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 87. <laughs> did I get it right, CB Chong? This is our segment. I think you, I, this is my thing. I'm the dumb one. <laughs> you are a smart one. Yeah. Okay. Whatever you say is right. CB Chong is going to be taking your questions. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so just email them in the chat room. Yes. Over at npr.whatsup.governor. If you are a chat realm man, <laughs> then I would like for you to tell me, who do you fucking think you are? Who that's do? my That's my prompt. My prompt to you, who do you think you are coming into my chat room telling me a question? A question for why? Question when? Question how? Question who? Who do you think you are? Call Mr. Us. Big Stuff? <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I, I, CB, sometimes we have a difficulty communicating. You were saying what? Let me know who, who is question. Well, I, 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 I uh, 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 CB, as you know, sometimes there's difficulty getting people on the line. I'm, I, uh, yes, we're all well, no, no, is, right is, 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 is question in, uh, in, in chat room. 
Uh, uh, oh goodness. Uh, I, 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 we, we try not to look at the chat room. Hold on one second, CB. Yes. Call Merrill Bar. No, the why? <laughs> Why? 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 No. Caller, uh, you're yes. on the air with CB Chong. Did you have a question? Yes, CB Chong, question for you. Oh. Um, I was wondering, uh, what's your take on the Hunter Biden uh, verdict today? I, 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 I do not like hunting. Why would you why would you look to kill animal? Animal is fine. Animal wanders. Wanders in ba Bambi wanders in uh, stream. Bambi's mother drinks stream. American fat fat horny American paying only fans takes gun he should not have shoots Bambi's mother. Gross, weird. Why would you do that? It must say that you have tiny penis. You should not do that. Why would you be biding your time while hunting? Don't understand. Gross, weird, American, awful, China number one. We're speaking to CB Chong <laughs> on this edition of Great Night, brought to you by National Public Radio, supported, as always, by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting <laughs> and viewers like you. Brought to you by Bullets. Literal bullets made for guns, brought to you by Doug Bullets and Stacy Bullets and the Bullets Foundation. If you're just joining us, <laughs> <laughs> we're here with CB Chong. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny if you just like, because if you ever listen to like the fucking NPR shit and it's just like a bunch of stuff where, where like everybody's like very calm and then it's just like Doug and Linda Halliburton. <laughs> 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 also by <laughs> Lucinda <laughs> and Mary Oil. <laughs> We're talking about how awful fossil fuels are. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone forgets it in like two seconds. But <laughs> no, it's, it's we're, like... <laughs> we're brought to you by the Exxon and Metro Golden Goldwyn Mayor Corporation. <laughs> Who like... remind you that you should watch Oil the movie coming to theaters <laughs> this Thursday. It's like, uh, uh, the anti-racist hour is brought to you by <laughs> Joe and Lucinda Klu Klux Klan. <laughs> Who would like to remind you that nothing <laughs> keeps your wires white <laughs> than Clorox. <sighs> we return now to our conversation <laughs> with CB Chong. Yes. CB. Yes. When did you realize you were different? I knew different when I uh, invented all language. <laughs> I knew I was. Uh, I knew different when um, I looked in mirror and said, uh, uh, "Leader," and I walked out door and new leader, and uh, everyone uh, bowed to uh, C B Chong. <laughs> Not G. <laughs> veil, veil. <laughs> Uh, CB, uh, uh, what what did you feel in in that moment? This is what we call misinformation. Oh, well, no, I mean uh, theoretically, if if I were President G, mm -hmm. See, then uh, this would be misinformation. I would be misinforming the American fat, dumb, <laughs> shitty American public. By saying I was someone uh, other than G. Right. Now, why? Why would I do that? You do not know. This is this is question, enduring question that welcome in mind, parasite into subconscious. Who? Why? When? Where? 
questions that then propagate the idea that G is here. You should turn against the American public. Go on TikTok. Understand that there are dances, ladies dancing. Horny Americans, too fat to understand. <laughs> she wins again. I mean CB4. That's what I would say if I was she. Nailed it. CB, some Americans have questions. Okay. Give me American question. Probably stupid and fat. These questions are already overweight. Weigh these questions before giving them to me and then tell me weight of questions. I only want heavy questions. I am like Rashomon. I want heavy questions. Weighty issues. That's what I want. <clears throat> American big fat love handles on these questions. <laughs> Just real chonkers. Certified chodes. <laughs> Dump uh, trucks. Uh, uh, American big old porkers. <laughs> Did you say? <laughs> Did you say legal porkers? Yes. <laughs> Uh, we're speaking. You with... gotta weigh them before they become legal. <laughs> and then you slap them with your sneaker and say, You're a real legal porker. Well, try doing that on 6th Street. That'd be a good prank channel. User XXOO exclamation point asks, Have you seen what these porkers do when we give them the cameras? Yes, I have. <laughs> It's, it's gross. A lot of flesh. Oh, that's bad. Oh, depending. I Wait. think gross. Wait. You are American. Think very sexy. Ooh la la. Oh, this is great. I am very erotic turned on. I need to go and see all oh, these porkers. How are they going to make pork together? Oh, they go. Oh, they go now. Oh, pick a fold and fuck it. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Okay. That's you. That's my impression of you. All right. Well, I. Uh... That is my. That is my impression. C. B. Chong, <laughs> or G. <she. laughs> impression of you. This is the delicate veil. <clears throat> uh, user G. James S. B. Uh, yes. Asks. Um. Uh, uh. How do you feel about calypso music? Love it. I like the way it makes me dance. Yeah. Yes. I go, uh, uh, I'm shaking my pants. I'm shaking my nips. I'm shaking my face because I know that it's Calypso. Oh, Calypso. Calypso. CB Chong likes to dance all night to Calypso. All right. I think I think we've run out of steam. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good run, though. I'm not going to lie, man. Oh, my God. You know, the biggest thing that I think that we haven't run out of is money because we have Patreon.com slash Great Night. Patreon.com slash Great Night is where you need to go. Head on over there right now. I'm, uh, I'm glad that people like uh, the show. We've been doing it for long enough. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, now, honestly, the, I, 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 we're at a point now where the thing that I, I care about the most is that we just have money. friends that hang out every week, and it just is really, really, it makes me happy when we do a good show and people are, like, reacting and sending us clips and shit like that. Like, it is just, uh, it's just really good. So, uh, thank you, guys. Uh, uh, Brian... We don't know what the Patreon is going to be on on Thursday, but uh, we know that it will be special. We know that, that 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 there will be a special bones for folks who 
sign up this week. If you've never signed up, great week to sign up because it will be special. You know what? I used to reserve the phrase special bone for only one person, but I'm going to open it up to everybody. This week, everybody gets access to the special bones. Yeah. I wish I had. Oh, 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 you just want to put it in the feed? Yeah. I mean, I would love to feed my special bone, but. Oh, oh, sorry. You're doing improv during a sales bit for our. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to make. I'm trying to make the part where we solicit money. (laughs) To be special. (laughs) Yes. Uh, I uh, fucked up. (laughs) All right. Here we go. Let's go back. Uh, uh, Reset it. Go again. Well, I swear. Nobody has offended me. As ever much as you have, C.B. Chong, uh, I I swore that Patreon.com slash Great Nine would be pure of heart and blissfully ignorant of the foul natures of the baser instincts of humans, and yet I find us calling it the bones. And now you would propose that I would bring my very family, who will be out on a family vacation, away from the sandy white beaches of Destin, Florida, all the way to the fifth filthy ear holes of everybody who supports us at patreon.com slash great night. I said the right name of the show. Um, what up? Well, <laughs> I'm the theatrical presentation of C.B. John. <laughs> Shut up, woman. They did that back in those movies. Look it up. Anyway... You need to go to patreon.com slash great night. There's going to be a special episode and everyone will love it. Everyone. Do we know whether or not it'll be Brian recording on the road or Justin filling in for Brian because shit got too hectic on the road? No. And that's why you need to just imagine me clapping. It's not me doing anything else. I just clap when I have a point to make. <laughs> I'm backing off from the initial point that it's a thing that happened in movies. C. Now I'm retroactively Chong. believing that I'm a theatrical CB Chong. <laughs> I'm now I'm just saying that I clap at the end of sentences <laughs> when I speak aggressively. Shut up! I clapped because that's what I like to do. Anyway, patreon.com slash great night. There's going to be a special thing, and either it's going to be Brian and his family on the road, or it's going to be Justin doing something special. And that's the way it'll always be. <laughs> oh, I thought I hit this button, but whatever. Doesn't matter. Uh, <laughs> Wait, was what was the button you thought you were hitting? Oh, uh, uh, Please tell me it was the window sound. <laughs> No, it, it it was it was this one. Special report. <laughs> Arm with it the should have been the window sound. <laughs> Hit the window sound real quick. Right, here, I got it right here. Julia! Julia! <laughs> I appreciate your ability to not be reined in. I appreciate it. Justin, uh Yeah. I'm about to go out on the road for a trip. Yep. The road is uh fucking tough. Well, that was that was coarse language, unnecessary. Yeah. Yeah. This episode brought to you by Volkswagen, the people's wagon. I do like the idea of the NPR show that's obviously funded by the exact opposite of the <laughs> shit they're talking about. <laughs> this investigation into global warming brought to you by <laughs> like literal paint in the ozone. <laughs> <laughs> Doug and Stacy paint in the ozone. <laughs> Putting uh, paint in the ozone for you. <laughs> uh, 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 is it too ethnic? Is brought to you by. Uh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> brought to you by the essence of whiteness. I just wanted to make a bit where. I was going to ask, like, should I eat this spam from the spam can with a plastic knife, a spoon, some scissors, 
a lighter. What the fuck? Candle. Where do you get all these props? Where do I get these wonderful toys? A ballpoint pen. Okay. Now you're just grabbing other shit off the desk. Yep. <laughs> uh, well, oh, hold on. Wait. Are you... But put everything down. Put everything down. Yes. Yes. We, we are going to do this bit. But put everything... No. Put it down. Not behind your back. Not behind your back. Not behind your back. See, I'm already practicing gentle parenting. Uh, <laughs> do you really want to eat the spam? I mean, are you I, hungry? Christ, it it it's been a long day. Uh, I I wouldn't have minded have gotten a meal. Okay, all right. So pick up the spam. No, but let's now let's we do the make bit. It funny, and it's gonna be weird. Did you think that bringing up eating the spam would not? Require you to be funny while you ate the spam? Well, I, I was at least hoping that C.B. Chong would be there. I, are, how long are we going to rely on G? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we like we can't. Let's not 80s SNL this and just like do like three sketches of, of, the, of, of, of the character. Let's spread them out a little bit. I think we will be happy that he came back a second week, but we got to give him a little break. All right. People liked him though. Yeah. They didn't like Fauci as much, which I actually liked better than fucking CB Chung. All right. Uh uh uh, uh so uh, uh uh the spam. Let's are you hungry now? Well have an honest conversation. Not not a meta conversation, not, not uh, just an honest conversation. Are you hungry for the spam? I'm uh, I can hold off. I can hold off. But you are hungry now. Well, I'm Because if you say I can hold off then the initial idea is that you are hungry. Uh, <clears throat> right? I would like the audience to believe that I'm so hungry that I would be so unprofessional as to eat the spam using uh, a lighter. Various different things. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. But but truthfully, I, I, I could definitely hold off. So in your initial thought, what was the funniest part of eating the spam? The, the the props? Oh, no, no, no. I, I, it, it was a fake-out bit. It gotcha. Was, like, I was thinking it would be funny to, like, make you think I was going to eat, eat the, the spam, spam and that I was really hungry and that I hadn't eaten all day. Gotcha. Right. But that was – forget about that. A total fake-out. Let's, let's play – Hey, Brian, number one, consider me faked. I so, bought it. Hook, oh. line, and stinker. That's me. I thought you were hungry for that spam. Stink I was trying to help it. my friend out. Yeah. Well, that's fine. Uh, I, 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 Wait, I, hold on. Is that not what you wanted? You said you did a fake out bit. Well, I, 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 I thought. I was fooled. Hashtag was fooled. I thought it would go farther, but it it didn't work out. Don't don't worry about it. Yeah. It's, hey, let's talk about the news of the day. All right. News, 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 news. Brian and Justin talking about news. Everybody was doing a snooze when they missed the news. Brian and Justin's news hour brought to you by Bridge. CB Chong. <laughs> it's me sponsoring bit. Wait, they don't let they don't let anybody. It's not like Ted Exxon gets to come in and say by me, Ted Exxon. Yeah, well, he's not CB Chong now, is he? No. Uh, Brian, uh, the number one thing in the news is Hunter Biden convicted of gun charges. What do you think about that? I mean. Since when is having a gun illegal in America? When you buy it because uh, uh, when you buy it when you are an addict and you sign on the form that you're not an addict. Wait, is that all it takes to say you're not an addict is you just say I'm not an addict? Well, when you're buying a gun, yes. uh, you have to fill out certain forms because uh, there are laws to buying guns. 
and uh, uh, one of the laws is you have to certify that you are not a drug addict. Wait a minute. I thought a well I thought a well regulated militia being important to the union should not have any things stopping people bearing arms. And you got to fill out these forms. And Hunter Biden did. And uh, uh, hold on. Brian, what are you doing? Stretch, <laughs> stretching. You're doesn't look like you're sitting in your seat. What yeah. is that sound? I mean, it's a uh, y you ever crack your back and it feels yeah. good? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, ah, so good. Okay. So good. All right. You were saying. So Hunter Biden in his trial made the argument that he was, uh, despite the fact that he wrote a book about, wait, that was a pop. That, that, it, that sounds metallic. Brian, what's going on there? No, uh, well, I mean, uh, it, what kind of metallic hijinks are you pulling over there? I'm I'm going through the machinery of trying to understand the justice of how somebody could be trusted to acknowledge on their own accord whether or not they're an addict. I'm sorry, are we all psychiatrists now, and we all get to just decide whether or not we're addicts? Well, he wrote a book saying that. He wasn't at okay. Now you're 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 dipping off away from the camera, and you've put on Groucho Marx glasses. Have I? <laughs> you were saying. You want to know what? I'm gonna answer that by going to the bathroom because that—that's what you've oh, given you me. Dare. Don't you dare! Hey, well, then I'm just gonna eat spam on the air then. Fuck you! <laughs> All right. Uh, Justin's actually. Uh, we all elected a spoon. Um. Yeah. No. Seriously. Like. Um. It's a piece of paper, and you're supposed to self-report whether or not you have a mental illness? That's that's weird. Should have had that coffee. Wait, I should have had that coffee? I shouldn't have. Oh, you shouldn't have. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... So, this episode of Great Night. Ah, uh, we already did that bit. We have to find a new running gag. Exactly how meta can we get on this show? Try it. Okay. Um. Oh, dear. I definitely dropped. Spam on the floor. I was offended by the Marx glasses. Because I felt I felt I, abandoned. I, I felt tip. abandoned. I felt abandoned. I thought we were going back and forth. And then you hit me with the fucking Marx glasses. We actually were doing a really good kind of like careful pace. Yes. Yes. All that I stuff. thought I thought that I we think. had a thing where you were eating the spam and I was say I was saying don't you eat the spam and then you were eating the spam and then you hit me with a totally another thing. Well, I, I, it turns out there's a lot of garbage on this desk and And desk. that was the bit. The bit was Brian is cleaning up his desk and I'm doing a no, comedy the, the, thing for the, it. The, the the bit was Brian was acknowledging like uh he had run out of his excellence in the fluidity of our back and forth shenanigans and I wanted to try to just kind of flip things upside down, smack it up, flip it, rub it down as I believe the poet um Joseph Campbell once called it. Yeah. Sorry, sorry. This episode of Apologies brought to you, <laughs> brought to you by Doug and Stacy. I'm never apologizing. <laughs> Justin, I sincerely apologize. No, that's the bit. That's oh. the bit we're doing. The bit we're doing is that that's the thing. Is that what we are saying is sponsored by the thing that's the opposite of it? Yeah. If it's like the good hour brought to you by. 
uh, uh, Elliot and Elisa Evil. Satan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you want to give up all the bits and just talk real? Yeah, no, yeah. I think that's what we should always do. We should always start with it. I'm glad that we felt that we could come in starting with bits, though. That's that's good. I feel like that's that's a that's a sign that we're um that we're getting more uh, uh oh. into 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 a fun a fun time. Bits are fun. I like doing bits. I really like doing bits last week, and uh, uh, I like doing bits now. But also, I like talking real. Uh, you are going on a big long family trip. Okay, all right. Uh, but when when is when is the last time that you went on a road trip like this with with the whole fam? Uh, <clears throat> um. Hmm. It might have been the eclipse, to be honest. Damn. Not the most recent eclipse. The eclipse that set you on a five-year goal to do the eclipse that just happened. Yeah, I think it might have been 2019 or something like that. It's it's bonkers. Holy uh, shit. How how young was uh Callie at that time? Uh Young and young enough that she does not remember seeing the eclipse. That's Damn, dude, that's fucking wild. Uh, okay, so do we want to declare that bits are over or maybe no, 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 no? That's that's are? the fun part is that bits can show back up at any time. Okay, see okay. that this is like a simmering tension. Okay, well, that's is it. is President G gonna show back up? <laughs> You got to keep listening to the podcast. Is is Hunter just Biden this time? Exactly. Oh man, I, I we we need to set up a mic. What's the number one? Like when you see the sign when you're driving on the highway, when you feel the biggest pull of like, oh shit, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta pull off and and go to that thing. Is there is there one one thing that you see on 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 the highway signs that you respond to? I'm a little bit embarrassed to admit it. Let's go. Well, just Let's because go. I, I've been made to feel like the sucker again and again and again. But sometimes, like you know, you're driving on and it says Waffle House or it mm -hmm. says Wendy's mm -hmm. or it says. Chick Fil A closed on Sunday. All all good things. All good things. I have stopped for all of those things when I've seen them on a sign. Did you ever? And be honest. Yeah. Did you ever pull off the road when you saw a sign that was just like taunting you? Well, are you talking about a, an an internal thing that I have a previous? Like like predilection for? Or are you talking it, it, about like it's, it's a, a like, series of billboards that are like taunting me to pull off at no, a like, thing? Like one sign that's double dog daring you. I've certainly been double dog dared, and I felt the pull, but I don't know if there's ever been one time where I'm like, I gotta fucking see this shit. I mean, okay, uh, how can I put this? Um. Have you ever been told no and then wanted to respond with like, yeah, but what if I did? Yes. And then you pulled off the highway. Never in an inappropriate way. But yes. All right. All right, fine. I pulled over on the side of the road and I'm like, how does one mess with Texas? Ah, what up with you? <laughs> I'm just gonna eat some more spam here. Clip it. Clip it. Clip it, and I'm bringing it to the fucking state capitol. And I'm asking that they make a statue <laughs> <laughs> of me <laughs> eating. <laughs> no, of you messing with Texas. Going. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Dad Jokes the Podcast. Take that, Greg Abbott. <laughs> Eat shit. <laughs> Dan Patrick. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
All right. Off the top of your head, do you know how many states you are driving through to get to where you're going? Yep. Uh, I know it's uh, Texas for um, uh, four to six hours. Then it's about two hours in Louisiana, about one hour in uh, uh, Alabama, one hour in Mississippi, not in that order. Um, then a few hours in uh, uh, Florida. And then, uh, 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 I don't know, the next day going up to Georgia. And then, But, but you, are, you, are, you, are, you are heading down to the Redneck Riviera, the right? The Redneck Riviera. Uh, uh, wow. I wonder. No, I, I'm, I'm not going to try to find it. Uh, there, there was a song. Somebody made a musical. Uh, the, the Redneck Riviera. You're sure to find a pair of something, 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 or a dollar or two or whatever. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, somebody that's find exactly... it. Somebody find it. We'll 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 play the song on the way out. Somebody find the song. Mm, good luck. Uh, but yeah, no, we're we're driving thousands of miles, and uh, uh we're gonna uh go do a family reunion and we'll probably do a bones podcast with everybody. It's going to be, if you I'm thought, giving it 50, 50 for the record. Yeah. Because you guys, that's, that's combustible. Like in, in the best, if, if you guys got into that car, loving each other on a level that no family has ever like you could walk in as if you were just straight out of the blissed out world of family harmony and it's a 50 50 shot that you guys would would be seeing eye to eye have the uh, 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 adrenaline to do a podcast within 24 hours of being on the road together okay uh, well so let's play that game. Let's assume everybody has a proper microphone and what we want to do is a radio play. What what kind of radio play would all of the like road noise and everything work with? Wait. Are you talking about like an actual radio play? Yeah, maybe maybe loose. Then what you should do, all right, holy shit. This is actually really good. This that's, might not be good. Uh, th 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 this might not be a good podcast, but this would be a really fun thing to do. Uh I'm going to go back to eating spam after you said that. Go ahead. <laughs> well, I don't know if people who are a fan of this show, which is largely me and you bullshitting, would right. want to hear a, uh, a a road noise induced <laughs> radio play, uh, 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 an, an unedited radio play, because I don't imagine that you're going to spend the next like five hours going back and like sifting through takes and adding audio shit to it. So it'd be an unedited live to tape, uh, live to tape, live five to tape. hour road noise and all radio play <laughs> uh, uh, with a a. 18 year old a 15 year old and an eight year old like uh, uh so there's gonna be a lot of of it would be an amazing moment in time for the family you'd want to save that five hour audio file for the rest of your life i don't know if it'd be product but i think i think we'd be saving it from the rest of the universe but yes no no, no you'd be saving for yourselves because it would mean a lot like that would be an amazing fucking like like imprint of a moment in time of where everybody was emotionally but i do think that you should find a five person radio play and perform it on the way there for one reason it will evaporate the time like if if the number one thing that sucks about a road trip is sitting in the car and being bored, nobody will be bored. If the Holy second moly, that you're on, on the second you're on the road, you're like, Everybody here are your scripts, here are your scripts, here are your scripts. Everybody, we're gonna cast right now. Who wants to play what role? Uh, uh, and then everybody makes a decision, and then you are casting and oh, recording. This is good. Yeah. Like, oh, uh, uh, so so. This is something that that we talked about uh, back when Twitter was fun. Uh, I thought it would be funny to take a I Love Lucy script and then like just divvy up all the lines and then one minute at a time actually yeah. perform 
as though it's like, you know, like uh, uh, at Justin R. Young, at Schwood, can't wait to go fishing this weekend. Yeah. At Schwood, uh, at Justin R. Young. Yeah. Hope the ladies don't get all bent up about their fishing yeah. doodle dish and then and then separately have our wives have a conversation yeah. and make the whole thing happen. And then, and then Bonnie's like, but I want to play in the show. Uh, but, but the, uh, 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 but we, but if they had actual scripts and man, and it, you can find a five person radio play. Well, and, and, uh, I guess the, the person driving for safety should probably just kind of know direct, things. just, or, just, or, just direct. Like, yeah. Or, or be the announcer with, with Foley work or whatever. And then, well, no, 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 not fully work. Oh, no, right, you don't, right. you don't want hands. No, are you kidding me? No, I'm like Michael Winslow over here. I'm just like, yeah, just then the helicopter approach. And he was suddenly, well, no, no, ball. no. The bigger, the bigger problem is that the, the, if the driver can hold a mic, then that's, that, that's the bigger problem. Like, oh, no, no, no. Hands up. Uh, oh, 10 and 2 the entire way. Yeah. J just just uh, whoever's in the front seat, that mic suddenly just is launched in front of the driver's face and is able to do that thing. Mm. That thing being directed. <laughs> and or you, or you, you could just clip a laugh. You could always do a laugh. Yeah. All right. All right. I'm here for that. Okay. So, so uh, what genres should we think of? Murder mystery, got to be murder mystery. Oh my! Oh, oh! I, I, I. That would that 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 escalated quickly. Yeah, uh, gotta be. Okay. Wait. So, like, like maybe maybe Callie is is like. Um, uh, they cast. They cast again. That's a solid hour. Like, like every problem that you're solving now. You are giving away an Oh, hour. my God. Are we really going to do this? Because this would be awesome. Yes. Like, like, if we can, if uh, so, uh, Chat Realm needs to decide it quickly and get us a script, and then I will hold off on any of the kids. On uh, knowing Don't oversell it. Don't oversell it. Here's all I'll say. If it happens then it will be a great time for you and the kids and, and Bonnie when you guys are driving. we will be a lot of fucking time in the car. Uh, if it's good and you guys have a good time, then you give it to me. I clean it up and actually make it a thing. Add and a then we sell it. And then we sell it and uh, uh, we uh, profit off your family. I mean, except except for everybody who's already a subscriber over at patreon.com slash great night, in which case they'll hear the original they get totally free. They get it. They yeah. get everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's great. And then and I mean after that it becomes a franchise, right? I mean it's car Matt plays. Car play. Oh, there we go. TM for us, not Apple. Car plays. It has an S. Different. It's that ding 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 da ding ding. See? Different car plays. <laughs> okay, real quick. How many people in the shut universe? Shut up! Shut up! Let it. <laughs> if they know, they know. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Right, ding, ding, right. ding, 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 ding. See, totally different, different, totally See? different, different. Car plays. Car plays. <laughs> All right, so uh, what, uh, what genres do we like? <laughs> yes, there could be a murder, but is the murder in space or time or on the No, road? no, no, no. I mean, I think for, again, what, what I'm optimizing for in this moment is for you, just don't look at the chat. Don't look at the chat. <laughs> for me to not don't look, look at, at the chat. chat. Yes. Uh, what I'm optimizing for is is you guys killing time in the car. So... I would say a murder mystery and mm -hmm. you let them paint their own characters. So uh, some of them, someone's going to do an old British accent. Someone's going to do an old West accent. Someone's going to do a Valley girl, right? Because everyone's going to want to play a heightened character that that is, that is what it is. You let them do whatever they do. That's that. Okay. 
How do we cut off the impulse that most people have to do kind of the Michael Scott thing of like, uh, I'm with the FBI and everyone script. has to script. You're, you're reading a script. Okay. Well, uh, they have roles. All right. Oh, wait, actually, hold on. This is a, a, a really interesting element. How have you had uh, 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 two artists had three girls and now two of the girls are, are well into either out of high school or into high school no drama kids. I guess Callie still 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 remains to be seen. But you would think that when two artists have a kid, this is the breeding ground for for uh, uh, drama kids if they're all female. And yet, not a one. Is that an upset? Brian Brushwood answered. You play a fair bit of Dungeons and Dragons. That ain't drama. You know, come on. <clears throat> Drama kids are a specific thing. D&D kids, totally different. Now, granted, shit is different in the modern era. d and more mainstream than it was before. So there probably is a little bit of bleed through. But, like, you would think that you would have had at least one of these girls singing Les Mis. Uh, in a past world, I think that would have been correct. But I think that same impulse is a little bit different nowadays. Like Penny, Penny, when she's home for uh, summer, like she's got uh, in, an on-air neon light that she turns on, where it's like, "Bug off, people! I'm working." Uh, so, so I, I don't know how far off the the two impulses are, and and I know for sure that well, our one, kids one is a culture. Like I, I, I don't think that it's an impulse thing. I think all of your kids are very, very creatively plugged in, and they are seeking. A, a outlet for their creativity and they are finding it. And, and that is uh, without a doubt, my bigger uh, a question, and maybe this is a byproduct of how I was uh, raised where we had less choices. And so you had to kind of choose between like eight lanes that you, that you went in. And one of them for uh, girls that were creative and extroverted uh, uh, as well as gay men was drama, right? And so that was like, we're going to learn the same eight plays. We're going to get obsessed with monologues. We're going to get obsessed with show tunes and singing. And that is kind of just like what that lane was. And I, I guess it is, I've never thought of it like this, but you guys are so creative and and uh explorative that i guess it is just a sign of the modern era that even like your daughters which would otherwise have been the breeding ground for this subgenre things have opened up so much that now it's like oh no one of them's a rock star one of them is the vtuber one of them is you know the 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 uh, uh money Steve never Jobs. sleeps yeah. uh, 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 yeah. <laughs> A animal jam uh, arbitrage uh, <laughs> master like there, there, there's just more room for the kids these days uh i agree but uh, so i'm i'm at the very uh temptation point of actually uh just wanting to go all the way in on this but what i'm afraid of is is by giving everybody too much rope uh it will not be interesting to listen to for all of As our opposed our to fucking C.B. John. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, you weren't here. There, uh, I'm sorry, Justin. <laughs> we invited C.B. Chong. It was a sponsored <laughs> segment. It was, he was fascinating. He was what a like, character. No, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. What, what, were, what were you thinking? Well, no, no, no. Like, like uh, the, the temptation is like, oh, shit, do, uh, do we want to try to make this good? At which point I have to, you know... Say like, no, Titer, hit your mark. Let's go. <laughs> no, 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 no. Literally, my, my point for you is just this is just a way to evaporate time. Yes. So you are just saying I, but, like but everybody, I everybody would reads the thing. Love it if it was palatable and if everybody enjoyed listening you, to it. What what would you love more? A product that you could either put out on the Patreon or sell or a peaceful evaporation of the 10 hour driving chunks that you were going to have to do over the next 48 hours. 
Because I suspect that there is nothing more valuable than a peaceful evaporation of the 10-hour fucking driving chunks. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, uh, you did just kind of ask me, which would you like, a portobello or psilocybin? Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, they're both mushrooms. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. One's good on a cheesesteak. Another's really good on a cheesesteak. <laughs> Uh, however, both are boring for other people to hear about. <laughs> are they? Oh, I don't know. I, isn't that the trope is that nobody wants to hear about somebody else's drug trip or something? I don't know. Somebody told me that the other yeah, day. Where do, they were like, do you have a good drug trip story? Uh, I've told some on this show. I'm sorry. I Maybe you misheard me. Uh, do you have any good drug trips? <laughs> no, yeah. I mean, like, like uh, I had somebody else tell me that there was like, like no good story ever began with any way I was drunk. And I'm like, all of my best stories start with any way I was drunk. Like, like th th there's a uh, uh, sure. I think there, if you are not a good storyteller, it is easy to think that a thing that happened to you while you were drunk or high is interesting. But if you are a decent storyteller and you understand what novelty is, then, yeah, a thing that happens, if it's prefaced with, anyway, I was drunk, and then blah, 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 oh, then, 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 then it is like a, 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 the, the same idea as like a baby walking out onto a, a, a fucking beam over a construction site, like, now the, the sober-minded person watching is like, oh, what is this? imbecile going to do to themselves so uh, th uh this is the structure of the simplest joke like like as a child i learned oh that's how a joke is written and it's good and it is the best simplest structure um there's an episode of cheers where uh he uh, had a previous fling with a woman and now that woman has a daughter and and he comes back and, you know, uh, he's attracted to both for different weird reasons. And so he comes back and, uh, uh, I, I don't know, let's say Cliff. Uh, Cliff says, uh, hey, uh, we, what's going on with uh, those women? And he's like, uh, well, you know, Cliff, it was the weirdest thing. Like, uh, uh, the other night, uh, uh, the mom, she leans over and uh, she, 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 she puts her hand on my thigh. And he's like, oh, and the whole bar goes nuts. And he's like, and then, and then, or what happened next? And then well, with the daughter, she puts her hand on my other thigh. And everyone goes, ah! And then somebody says, what happens next? And he says, I woke up. Best, simplest joke ever. That's the only way to, way to tell any dream story any high story any anything story is save the part where you're either asleep dreaming or high as the punchline this is conversations with cb chong yes it is me we're back brought to you, you bookend you know you uh, see you have you have thing at beginning you have thing at end it is like two things I cannot think of word for things at, at either side, but no. they're like bookends. Yeah, yeah I, I, we, we can't punch out, but I feel like we should keep on going. But you tell me. That sounds what you, like you What do, do you, I, I, I just don't know what that energy is. What is that energy? No, oh. What is that, what is that like, I, 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 I feel like we should punch out, but you, but you don't think I should punch out, but now I have to agree to validate your instincts. If you want to punch out, then fucking punch out. I, I never want to punch out. I want this to be the longest episode we've ever done of Great Night. Then ever. let's keep going. All right. Should we hydrate? Kind of feel like you want to punch out, though. No, no. I, 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 uh, <laughs> I wanted to make because you immediately asked if we wanted to hydrate, as opposed to coming up with a bit you wanted to talk about. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm, I, I'm fascinated by this idea of what is a radio play that could be written so simply that children could perform it and that it would be tight and good 
while being read for the first time on a podcast that is a Patreon exclusive for people who go to Patreon. This would be slash. terrible as a Patreon exclusive. Oh. Go on. Well, because it's just, it's a lot of pressure. It is, it is more pressure than I would ever wish to be put on a five person trip for 10 hours. I mean, like, like this is not a three hour trip to Port Aransas. Like this is a, this is a big boy, like long haul trucking kind of a uh, 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 thing. This is the, 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 the space shuttle. This is trip to Mars kind of uh, patience that you have for these kids. So you don't want to then while you're driving, be like, Patreons are paying for this. Hit your mark. Do a thing. Funnier. Yes. I, like, I, I, you don't want that. You just want time to evaporate. Uh, I, I definitely agree. And also, I agree with Max Trollbot, who says, a uh, lot of constraints on this project. A lot yeah. of constraints. I think it's a great idea to kill time. Yeah. But, but oh, man, but. What if we accidentally, like, it would be a real shame if we weren't, it, it's like that moment from the Tenacious D thing where, where Jack Black, like, it fades in and he's like, always record, always record. But, and, like, I, so what, if it was only a Precious Family moment that you remembered forever? God, that would suck so much shit. Fuck. God damn it. This precious family moment that we remembered forever was such a waste of fucking time. We could have made so many patrons happy with this. I mean, that would have been nice if we if if we were able that to That might have changed the event though. Yeah. But most likely it would. Yeah. 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 Especially cuz you were like, "Callie, hit your mark. Stop slurring." <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, go. <laughs> we talked about this <laughs> with feeling. Don't act like you're doing it. I'm clapping. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Oh, Back to one. So, so at that point, the question becomes. How much of a we're really doing a play should we engage with? Like, I think you should get a real script and you should print out five copies and you should say, all right, here are all the roles. Uh, uh, we're we're going to we're going to cast these roles right now. Who wants the role of blank? You know, uh, run it through chat GPT and get a get a summary of the roles and uh, uh, then say, like, all right, who wants this? Who wants that? And then you just read it while you're driving. Well, and uh, that's part of why, like, a tight, simple, old-time radio script feels right-ish to me. Yeah, I think so. I mean, at least it would be consistent with the idea that they weren't asking for people to do big physical motions. Uh, uh, Caitlin and yeah, yeah, wants yeah, to know, right, like, right. how four, we're going to do with the Four driver. roles, four no, 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 roles, no, no. and it, then it, the driver. I mean, well, the driver just, you know, has it memorized and knows it already. When are you going to memorize the script? Oh, you want me to recite all of the Telltale Heart right now? Because I will. No. Right now. I don't. I will. I actively would like I you will. to not do that. Uh, don't. Don't. Wait, wait, are you don't. serious? That I want you to not do it? Yes. Well, do I have news for you? I... Another bit? Respect you. Good. <laughs> clickety-clackety, clickety-clackety. God damn it. <laughs> Ahem. That's like a monologue, though, right? No. The Telltale Heart. Not, not if you do it right. If you do it right, so, so what are the roles? Your Honor. God damn it! A lot of people don't know. Fucking shit. About the Telltale Heart. Fuck me, running. <laughs> Never trust a heart. Damn it! That's what my father told me. He remembers all of it. <laughs> He said, 
I married a heart once. Just as Poe wrote it. <laughs> and now look at you now. Fuck, I can't believe he's nailing this. <laughs> so your honor, if you want to hear it, I'll tell you the story. It's the greatest courtroom drama. <laughs> tell, tell, all right. Fuck, he knows all of the fucking thing. I'm sorry, audience. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm looking for the attorney who's defending the Telltale Heart. It's me. I'm Professor Figglefarm. I'm defending the Telltale Heart. Ah, well, I'm just uh, I'm just a stenographer, and I was told to hand you this piece of paper. Here you go. Have a good day. I'm gonna close the door. Mm. I like to knock on doors as I leave. What a curious man. Ha! Ha! The telegram reads as follows. Stop. There's a chest in the harbor. Stop. You need to go pick it up. Stop. I won't tell you what's in it. Stop. But it's beating at a regular cadence. Stop. It's probably a heart. Stop. Well, I guess I better go down to the harbor. <laughs> Meanwhile, <laughs> down to the harbor. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I've gotten a telegram. I need to pick up my chest. <laughs> Here it is. Meanwhile, back at <laughs> <in> the office. <laughs> well, I've arrived back with my chest. Let's open up. Oh shit! It's a heart! God damn, this heart's telling tales like I've never heard before. Yeah, see? It's oh. me. <laughs> Some people call me a snitch. Some people call me uh, a snitch. <laughs> um, mainly I just tell you whatever you want to hear. It's me, the, it's the telltale heart. Oh my god! You're the greatest beat poet of a generation. I'm going to invent a hat for you. I'll make it round with a little point at the top. I'll call it a mm, beret. Yes. I'm going to take you around the world. I'm going to name you Allen Ginsberg. Well, my mom called me Nick. Same difference. Beat Nick. Meanwhile, in San Francisco, <laughs> my God, if this baboon doesn't get a human heart in 20 minutes, he's done for. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, at a bookstore in San Francisco, my God, wow, what an amazing performance by Allen Ginsberg, the greatest beatnik poet, a fucking sentient heart that tells tales like no one's ever seen in a beret. Uh, yes, more money for me. You don't get paid anything. Hopefully you never benefit anything like a baboon who's about to die. Meanwhile, at Exxon XHQ. I love oil so much. I like to eat it. I mean, eh, who Sir, did? No, I'm sorry. We've received a telegram. It says maybe you want to sponsor NPR. Fucking all right, sure. Um, stop bothering me. I'm eating oil. Um, nom, 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 nom. Meanwhile, back at the <laughs> bookstore where the heart and the weird agent are talking and we're setting up the conflict. Yeah. And that's how I killed him. The end. <laughs> You're the greatest beatnik poet of a generation, sentient Allen Ginsberg Hart. Ah, uh, well, hey, how about this? Uh, 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 me and you, we go have a couple drinks. Uh, uh, wait a minute. A doctor in the back. Wait a minute. Is that a heart? I just came from the hospital because I love beatnik poetry. I didn't know that Allen Ginsberg was a sentient heart. Hey, uh, Allen Ginsberg, the sentient heart. I'm a doctor. 
Yes. How would you like to stop being a weird puppet for this uh, 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 odd uh, uh, Svengali and instead go into the heart of a baboon and live the rest of your life pumping real blood? Well, my father once told me that the, the circle should be complete, so yes. All right. Well, we're going to leave right now. Now, fuck you all! Bah! Oh! Oh! Oh, God, I'm dying! I'm <laughs> dying! I'm the doctor! I'm dying! I was shot by the weird agent! I know it was confusing before, it wasn't but me. I'm... It wasn't me! I'm not guilty at all! I don't understand what's happening! You'll never take this heart away from me! Oh, no! The baboon! He jumped out of the hospital window, and he's just enveloped the heart in his chest! <laughs> Uh, <laughs> he, he he enveloped or developed? Enveloped, uh, but 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 there's still your 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 weird heart mouth is sticking out of the chasm. No, oh, that's right because I didn't tell you. I'm a wear heart. <gasps> oh no! Yep. <laughs> Check out Telltale Heart 2, <laughs> available only on Divix. <laughs> Divix? <laughs> Wait, what was that? What was that? <laughs> on, 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 was it Streamy? What was the thing we always made fun of? <laughs> Queeby. On Queeby. Queeby. <laughs> make sure to... Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Just make sure to bury me with my own heart. Uh. Queeby. I that, 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 that. presentation. <laughs> Hit the fucking song. Hit the song. All right. Hey. Oh my god. Uh, hot damn, man. Good oh times. No. Uh, Night attack is through. Well, goes well is this something that I did? Kinda, is there something I can do? Attack is done. My heart has been broken. The depression's just begun. Yo, yo, Brian. Brian, Bush what did we learn tonight? Every time you leave, we learned that show prep is for assholes. <laughs> yep. By pissing we learned that CB Chong is in the motherfucking house. He is. Uh, we've learned that uh, this episode of A Green Planet is brought to you by Sicily oh, Gasly. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we learned that analog only so ink is brought to you by Digitron. And uh, we've learned that uh, there's going to be a really, really fun week of shows coming up for you as Brian goes on his big road trip with his family. Thank you all for supporting us. Till next time, it's been a great night. We'll see you next Tuesday. Night attack, night attack, I love you. And it's like that, I tied your mom to a motherfucking train track. Slide on her back, I gave her some crack at 10 o'clock. Do you know where your mom's is at? At my house, Do a white. Then I asked, she had to move.